Christoph, welcome to London and welcome to the Fight Week bubble. Given the frustrations for yourself, of course, when the fight had to be postponed in December, just how excited and how happy are you to be here now ahead of Saturday night? I'm very happy. I'm very happy about the fight that it's finally going to happen. It was postponed a couple of times through COVID, through me getting ill, but I'm happy that I'm here. I'm ready. You haven't fought since 2019 and as a warrior that you are, someone who loves fighting, how tough has it been for you not, not to box for that sustained period of time? I was very worried that I couldn't fight, but on the other hand, this break did me very good because I was quite broken after fighting in Riga with Bradis and I had to sort everything out, but now I'm, I'm fine and ready. You just mentioned the, the fight with Bradis there. I mean... It's quite difficult to even describe that fight. It, it was bizarre to watch, really. You, you felt you were dealt a wrong that night. How, how, what are some of your feelings when, when you reflect on that night in Riga? I was treated very badly. There should be a disqualification, but what to do now? I'm, I'm here in London and I shouldn't be looking back at what happened. And I'm ready here. You want to reclaim the WBO World Cruiserweight title, a belt you have, of course, held previously. How much is it motivating you to become a world champion once again? I'm hugely motivated. I'm going to have a great uh, fighter opponent uh, in front of me, so it's a great motivation. You have in the past described that WBO world title as yours, your belt. That is how you've described it. Do you feel you are here in London to take back what is yours? Yes, I will. It's not that I want to get it back. I will get it back. To win this belt for the Polish people as well, you, you've got the whole country behind you. How much is, is that motivating you heading into a big fight like this? How important is that support coming into a big fight? It's an enormous motivation and Polish people will always uh, support me. It's a shame that they cannot support me in person because normally there, a lot of people would come to Gala, to Boxing Gala, but they will support me in front of their televisions. Talk to me a little bit about Lawrence Sokoli, your opponents on, on Saturday night, of course. What do you feel are his biggest strengths heading into this fight on Saturday? This opponent is surely he's uh, un, unbeaten yet and he's big, he's strong, he's got a huge, I mean, long arms, reach, uh, huge reach. But I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight and I'm ready to, to beat him. In Lawrence's previous 15 fights, because of that awkward style that you've touched on there, his opponents have struggled to have success against him. How do you visualise having success that his, his previous challengers haven't been able to have? You will see it on Saturday how I will beat him up. I had a lot of sparring par partners, also also tall, also uncomfortable, and you will see it on Saturday. Do you believe in this fight, Christoph? We will learn just how good Lawrence Sokoli is on paper. You've got so much more experience than him. You've been a world champion. You've been where he wants to be. This is a massive step up for Lawrence Sokoli. Surely, I, I will show the best, the best boxing, the, the best fight, uh, uh, in, and I will show his place. And just finally, Christoph, you believe that you can win this fight by knockout on Saturday, and you'll be taking that belt back home to Poland. I'll surely win this fight and I'll take this belt back to Poland. Crystal, thanks for your time. Good luck. Thank you very much.